good. Why is it that terrific thing just can't go on forever? Like it never get dark out. Then we can play all night, you know? Or have thousand hour basketball games. But my mom says, everything just gotta change, back and forth. We gotta take the terrific with all the kinds of terrible, I guess. You better go home and grow a foot or two, butt face. We can beat you, dog breath. Hey, what'd you call me? Nothing. Get him! Come on! Yeah! Nice shot, man. No, Judge, you gotta cover him. Oh, man, you jumped in my way. Get that's our ball. He fouled you, didn't he? Come on, play balls. 18-18. What? That's 18-16, our feet. 18-18, right, Mike? Jonas, don't start to throw your stuff. It's 18-16, you dirty cheater. Hey, what'd you call me? Hey, it's 18-16, our feet. What's the matter? Afraid we'll win. Well, I'm sweating my pants. To see you score the winning point. I was a real little kid. I used to kneel by the bed and all that corny stuff. And close my eyes when I prayed, you know? But now I'm looking straight at God. Please, God. Please let my mom come quick. Get his bike. Hi. Hi, Mom. I got a little trouble here. You're gonna be all right. Huh? Everything's gonna be okay. Can you bend the arm at all? Oh! 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 oh. My little pink here hurts like crazy. It's gonna be all right, Bob. I snatched these out of the daisy bushes in the yard, and then they all fell over. I think they'll be all right. No, 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 don't go to sleep, not yet, Pumpkin. Come on. I won't be able to carry you, you know. Pumpkin. Sick, isn't it? That's what she used to call me when I was six years old or something. Mom, please don't call me Pumpkin in front of my friend. Sorry, Rob. Uh, let's get you to the doctor. You hear what happened? One of the kids won two dollars from Wally and Jim Rudy. Let's throw some right. Hi, Rob. Hi, Dad. How you doing? Good. 
Fine. Just fine. You sure slept around the clock. You know, your mother and I stayed right here in this room until visiting hours were over. You never moved. Where's Mom? Well, she'd be along in a minute. She thought uh, that maybe you and I'd like to have some time alone together. Thanks, Dad. Here you are, Molly. Oh, thanks. Uh, Mrs. Nelson, did I ever tell you what a wonderful, warm-hearted, generous person you are? Yes, I think you did. The last time I baked an apple pie. So, how was it? How was what? The operation. OK, I guess. How'd you like my souvenir? <laughs> Yeah, that's really, really something, huh? I can try. Well, that reminds me. The operation. I kind of feel like I was really never there. Well, that's how I felt when I had my operation. When did you have your operation? Oh, long before you were born. Well, what were you operated on for? Well, I... I had a hernia operation. A hernia? Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. <clears throat> if he can't see what's so funny about a hernia, I sure as hell can't explain it to him. See Mom yet? No, not yet. Your mother wanted us all to go bowling this weekend. Robbie. Hi. Hi, Mom. How are you doing? Good. Mm. Hi there. Hi. How are you doing? Haven't I kissed you somewhere before? Oh, I don't remember. Listen, Robbie's doing fine, and I got to get back to the office. I couldn't push that meeting back, okay. so uh, I'll talk to you later, OK? All right. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Bye. How was my son this morning? I'm pretty good. Gosh, that cast is huge. I had no idea it was going to go all the way to your shoulder. Just left those edges awful rough. Does that rub down under here? <laughs> yeah, Mom, stop. You're Don't tickling. be so ticklish. Mom, stop. Does it rub? No. How about here? It's OK, Mom. I'm supposed to be comforting you, right? Honey, I'm really sorry I wasn't here when you woke up from the operation. You know, they had to kick us out of here last night. I was going to hide in the closet. <laughs> What's in the bag? Oh, I have here for you computer hockey, computer the hockey? official game. All right. This is already on my Christmas list. <laughs> Mom, I don't have to stay here eight days, do I? I mean, you can take care of me, like, like when I'm sick, Mom. They put two metal plates in there, Robbie. They have to watch your circulation and how Mom, I want to go home. You can't, honey. Now, these eight days are going to fly by. And then the whole summer with this on? I was going to practice basketball. Remember, I was going to make the team? There's going to be lots of things to do. Yeah, sure, Mom. Come on, how can you tell the future? I know it. Just don't put the past in front of you. Come on now. Who do you want to be? The Rangers or the Hawks? Hmm? In eight days, Mom and I played 194 games. She won 23 of them. I won a big 171. But let's face it, my losing streak sure isn't over. I know this summer's going to be terrible. Incredible Hulk. Hey, better watch out. How's it been, Judd? All right. I'm taking tennis lessons. The dad finally gave in after I promised to take the garbage out every night. Great. What's so great? That was his job. So you go to the rec center every day? Mm-hmm, after my tennis. Vaccine Pratt. Is an incredible Hulk. Stacked. Really? You never know if in school. 
Maybe she's growing up fast. <laughs> she asked about you. She... She did? So, uh, why don't you come with me tomorrow? With this thing? Hey, don't play with the rocket. One of its fins is loose. I've been listening on my big brother's phone calls. He's really sick. Think my mustache shows anymore? No. Yeah, it does. No. Yeah, it's growing. I bet I have more hair work counts than you do. I bet you don't. How much? Three bucks. Ow! Oh, put that out in the toilet. All right, ow, ow, I'm burning up. all summer. Started the band. Hi, Rob. Hi, Dad. How you doing? Fine. I promised my dad I wouldn't play when he gets home. He's kind of allergic to noise. It's music. Uh, look, Rob, I gotta go. What do you mean, Are you coming over tomorrow? I don't know. On this anymore, because I've had it. Then stop pushing. I'm over 21, Joe. It's my Oh, life. that's really stupid, Susan. I will take care of it. Well, when? I want you to tell me when. Mom? I want you to do it. Judd's leaving. Goodbye, Judd. Come over soon, honey. Bye. You sound like mine. Only my mom can yell a hell of a lot louder than my dad. They don't fight usually. So, are you coming with me to the pool tomorrow? Maybe. Raleigh Porter and his wife are going to Africa for his vacation. Kenya. Now, that's what I call really getting away, huh? Mm. Well, if I had my pick, I'd like to go to India. I hear that the skies and the mountains there are just incredible. It's supposed to be like velvet. Let the lemon off of yours, okay? Not too dry. I don't know if I can get away this summer at all. The firm is putting together an investment group to buy this building in Chicago. It's a real big effort. Well, what about September? I think you need a vacation, Joe. Anyway, next summer, I promise you India, Suze. What about me? Thought you wanted to visit your Aunt Emily in Portland. That sucks eggs. Robert, you like your cousins, don't you? They suck eggs. Hey, Rob, watch the language, huh? If you want to talk like that, you can talk like that in your room. Robbie, sit down. He is so disappointed and he's angry. I don't want there to be any scars. I just don't. Honey, Rob will be fine. Well, whether you worry about him or not, he'll grow up. We hope. <laughs> You've got to do more with him, Joe. That's all. Take the time. I don't have it, Suze. Besides, I don't think he's so red hot for the idea anyway. Everything about me sucks eggs, too. Except my hernia. That's funny. This isn't funny. You know, you didn't say two words to him tonight all the way home from the movies. I don't know how you can do that. He needs you. He does need you. I can't be mom and dad all the time. Oh, wait a minute. He and I do things sometimes. When? Listen, my father had his work and my mother. He wouldn't say three words to us during a week, and I loved him. So you don't have to do better? You can't spend more time with him? I'll try. These figures I gotta check. What? I was just thinking about Riley Porter. 
Crowley Porter. Well, <laughs> wait, uh, I was thinking that you could be like him. Be on your own, have your own business. When the time's right. Honey, suppose I went back to teaching in the fall when, when Robbie got well. Susan, you don't have to go back oh, to I know work. you don't have to. But I've been thinking about it. And it's time. It would take the pressure off of you. It would, it would be your turn. Son, do you have a bite? I don't feel like a mom. Oh, come on, it's wonderful. I don't want it, Mom. You know, when I was a little girl, we lived in a, in a real small apartment in Chicago. But it had really big, big windows. They were high and wide. And, and in the summertime, my room was just beaten with the sun. And the air was hot and it was thick. But, but there, was one, there was one really good thing about that. See, right by my windowsill, I had these three big pots, and I grew tomatoes. And, uh, and so we would have big, red, hot, juicy tomatoes, and we'd just eat them all summer long. Mm -hmm. No thanks, Mom. Oh, Robbie, these drums, they're great. Have you added these to your Christmas list? Mind if I turn that off for a minute? Why, Mom? I'm playing. Just for a minute. I'm playing. Honey, you have been playing that game every day for the past week. Now, come on, let's find something for you to do. OK, find it. All right. Um, well, Judd, now he's called you. Why don't you call him? He goes swimming in the afternoons, and he has tennis lessons. Great, go with him. You can learn a lot just by watching. Then let me watch TV. No. What about Buzzy? Buzzy's away at camp. Honey, look, you're unhappy and you're bored. Now, boredom is our enemy. Let's find something for you to do, OK? Well, I'm going to my room to think. Rob. Just leave me alone. No, you're not going to tune out again today. I'll buy you any book you want, even Mad Magazine. That sucks, eggs. Just leave me alone. Robbie, come on now. You're not going to fold up just because you can't play basketball all summer. It's That's not ridiculous. just this summer. My whole next year is ruined, too. Remember I was going to make the team? Honey, maybe you still can. You could, you could practice after school. I'll never be popular. Robbie, you think that being on the basketball team is the only way to be popular? To be liked? You've got a lot of friends. Kids don't like me that much, Ma. Rob, when you were in the hospital, you said the summer was going to be terrible. Now, you can make it that way if you insist that it is. So we got to find something to get you up and out of here. Oh. What's wrong? Well, it's my arm. It's like one big itch. I've got to get in there. I've got to. Here, here. Get it down there. Is that it? Right there, right there. Here. <laughs> Think we got it? We got it. <laughs> Robbie, I got it. Most guys I know, their mom is just that, a mother. But you tell me whose mom is also a hot soccer coach. The key to the game is controlling the ball with your feet, no hands, OK? At first, kick the ball back and forth easily to get the feel.
Weld? Just a minute, I'm trying to get the ruler straight here. Okay, let me see. See, I knew what you did grow over the summer. It's five eighths of an inch. Oh, that sucks eggs. Why? Now is the time when I'm really supposed to grow. You really did grow. Now go finish your breakfast. I'm still one of the shortest kids in my class. I know it. There's a lot of great men who, who never reached six feet, or five feet six for that matter. What do you think they do when somebody picked on them? Well, I think there must have been a time that no matter what, they had to fight back. You think I can be a great man? Yes, Robbie, I do. And please, on your first day back at school, don't trade your sandwich for any junk food, okay? It's good meat. Okay, Robbie? Okay. You know, first days kind of make me, well, first anything really makes me nervous, a little bit. Me too, I guess. You get nervous? Mm-hmm. Of course, I don't always tell you, Dad, but Daddy asked me to wish you luck today. Mom, what is it you and Dad argue about a lot lately? Oh, just some differences of opinion on some things. You know, people fight, but... They still love each other. Yeah, but what about? You better get going, kiddo. What type of meat is it? It's roast beef. Terrific. Bye, honey. Bye. starting terrific. Right off, there's a kid in my class who's got to be four inches shorter than me. No kidding. He just skips, though. He's a little younger. But he's okay. So I got a new friend. And my teacher, Mr. Jensen. He seems great. First off, he's a man. Being I never had a man teacher before. And you sort of feel he really wants to teach us something. And uh, yeah, I'm planning on trying out for the soccer team. And things are terrific. You sure don't expect them to change to terrible again. Suddenly. Like a surprise party. That sucks eggs. Atta boy, atta way. Good, good, good. Just keep it moving here. Control the goal here. Barley! Control here. Yeah? Telephone in the office. For me? That's what I said. Control! Robert Farley, I had a phone call. Right here, Farley. Thanks. Hello? Hi, Rob. Oh, hi, Mom. What's up? Well, I was writing you a note, but then I thought I'd give you a call. Uh, I might not be home in time for dinner tonight, so you might have to rustle something up for yourself. Where are you going? To have my checkup. What? I have to have a checkup. On your car? No, no. It's my annual doctor's checkup, just like you have every January. Uh, well, I'm due, and you know how they keep you hanging around doctor's offices sometimes, huh? Yeah. Now, listen. If I make the soccer team, which, um, which position should I play? Forward or halfback? Well, that's your fat decision, kiddo. <laughs> listen, um, if I should happen to stay overnight for some tests or, or something like that, I I'll call you. Okay? Okay. Bye-bye, Pumpkin.
Oh, hi, Rob. How you doing? Good. Why didn't Mom come home with you tonight? Oh, she has to have these tests, Rob. They're kind of due early in the morning before breakfast, so they thought it best she'd stay in the hospital tonight. The hospital? Damn it. Hey, let me do it. Mom showed me where to push. She said it's temperamental. What kind of tests? Oh, just this battery of tests. You know, these doctors, they don't, they don't tell you very much, do they, Ron? They sure don't. It sounds crazy. But this is the closest kind of talk between us I can remember. Dad, do you want your mushroom soup with milk or water? Milk. Please. 2,000 years ago. These stones, these amazing structures were all that we had seen and all that we knew of this magnificent ancient civilization. It was only at the beginning of the last century that the science and art of archaeology were getting underway in Europe. In 1798, a group of scholars and artists were brought along with the French army when it invaded Egypt. These artists drew pictures of the temples and monuments and copied the mysterious carvings that covered them. When these were published, they fascinated all of Europe. And from then until now, scarcely has there been a time when there is not an archaeological expedition digging somewhere in the sands or stones of Egypt, making marvelous discoveries and using more advanced techniques to uncover the history and culture of the ancient Egypt. Hey, Robbie! Robbie! Listen, I'm gonna have a party! The first one of the term! Terrific! My party's on a week from Saturday night. But don't tell anybody. My mom doesn't want any crashers. Is she gonna be there? With guns blazing. You can come, can't you, Robbie? Listen, I'll see you guys later, okay? That really makes me mad. You hungry? Sure, I can only use some fuel for my tank. Okay. Hey, Mom, I made the soccer team. Robbie, that's wonderful. Congratulations. Thanks. Oh, boy. I'm either going to play forward, though I'm not sure. I, I might play half. Uh-huh. Hey, both kinds of peanut butter. And jelly. But it's only to be eaten as a treat and only occasionally, all right? All right. My, you're, uh, you're a real nutrition then, aren't you? And no more sodas for a while, you know. I counted all those cans, those empty cans out there on the windowsill. Maybe Dad drank some. Maybe he didn't. That was school today. Oh, uh, gotta write this crummy report on someone who history, someone who what they did is still influencing us. And I have to tell how. Sounds interesting. Sucks eggs. Sorry. I just don't know who to do it on. Well, if you just think about it, I'm sure you'll come up with somebody. Maybe ask your dad. He doesn't care. He's very interested in your education, Rob, and in your future. Yeah. Rob, remember uh, last summer when, when, when you uh, broke your arm and you had to have an operation? Mom, you think I forgot? Well, it's my turn now, Pumpkin. Return for what? 
to have an operation. It's, it's nothing to worry about. It's a very minor one. Oh, it's nothing to worry about, nothing at all. Well, what's wrong with you? Oh, it's just one of those woman things, honey. Just I'd get over and done with as soon as possible, that's all. Well, what's the big rush? You know how you hate going to doctors and all. They just called and they said that there was a bed available and they wanted me to come down right away. So, why don't you come upstairs and help me pack, huh? Does Dad know? Uh-huh. He's going to meet me at the hospital, so if you want to, you can invite Jed over for dinner, huh? Mom, I want to go to the hospital with you. You can't, honey. They don't allow visitors under 14 years old. I'll be home before you know it. When? Probably I won't be in there as long as you were. Eight days? It was like forever. Well, I know, but it'll go quickly. That's gross. This happens to be your father's favorite. No, no, let me do it. I got it. Thank you. It's okay. Maybe you'd like to have some of your friends for a sleepover tomorrow night, huh? Sure, okay. Okay. But what about Dad? Just hang up on noise and all. I'll talk to him. Besides, he's going to be at the hospital for until visiting hours are over. And I'll bet he'd be glad you're living it up a little. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Well, I'll be glad. Okay. Let me kiss. Okay, bye-bye, pumpkin. No, let me take it, okay? Okay. All right. She's pretty, isn't she? Her hair pulled back like that. Wow, my own mom. She's around so much, you sort of really stop seeing her. You know? Bye, honey. Bye. Dad? Hello, Ron. I've been calling. No one answered. Is Mom there? No, uh, she hasn't come up from the recovery room yet. Well, how is she? Okay. I'm waiting for the doctor now. Well, when she gets up, have her call me at home, huh? Sure. The guys are sleeping over tonight. Okay. Bye, Dad. Let's go. So Frank Curiosity is a much better Not picture. according this to the ERA. Look at his spouse. Scott. Yeah. Well, yeah. You guys may pop one. for instant sexual power. Pack that wall up any time, day or night. $3.95. Let's send away. Oh, what a degenerate. Who needs a pill? I don't need a pill. Hospital. 
Dad, it's 11.30. Visiting hours are over at 9. Well, sometimes I let you stay longer, see, on weekends. Well, at least you get a phone, a call or something, and let me know where you were. All right. All right. And in the morning, Ma, Jed and Buzzy, they hid Scotty's clothes. He was so mad. I was going to let him some of mine, but he walked out of the house in his underwear, six blocks all the way home. <laughs> Sounds like everybody had fun except poor Scotty. <laughs> yeah, you sound good, Ma. Coming along. I want to see you soon. Me too. Oh, listen, Ma, you don't have to worry about your garden. It looks great. I don't think it has to be watered anymore. Mom? All right. I won't worry about the garden. When I was watering this morning, I saw seven new tomatoes in our plants. They were kind of small, but when should I pick them? When they turn red. Did you do your homework? M Mom, I'm still in school. And it's Friday. Oh. I'm going to play forward on the soccer team. That's where the coach says I'll be most valuable. Um, tomorrow night's that party. But I'm still not sure I'm going to go. Oh, you go. You go, OK? OK. I just had a treatment, honey, and I'm kind of tired. Let's talk later, huh? Mom, have you talked to Dad about getting me in to see you? I have. And he's talking to the doctor. Oh. Oh, great. I'm trying not to eat any junk food. Don't, please. I'll try not to. Do you like being called a Elizabeth or, or Beth or... Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Okay.
we made it. So. Yeah. Yesterday, when I was over at Judd's house, he was going through his drawers, and he found an old Christmas card from his grandmother. He was about to rip it up, but then he looked inside, and he found a $20 bill. Isn't that lucky? Yes. I practically made my mind up who to do the history report on. Want to try and guess? Uh, who? Well, N Napoleon. Oh, good, good. Mom, I miss you so much. I miss you too. Are you uh, sure? Are you sure you're all right? How's mom? She's coming along, Robbie. When is she coming home, Dad? Real soon. When? They can't give me an exact date, Rob. Well, what does the damn doctor say? The doctor says that she's coming along. You want an orange juice or a soda or what? What do you want? I want to go visit mom. I wish you could, Rob. just one of their dumb rules, Robbie. See, they don't let anybody in the hospital room under the age of 14. Well, you go and visit all the time. Why shouldn't a son have as much rights as a husband? Because it's different, see? Now they're giving her a series of treatments that makes her very susceptible to catching things. So the you doctor... You just don't care. You just don't give a damn. Shut up! Now, I gotta get to the hospital on time, and I still got a meeting in my office across the hall. So you just march the hell out of here right now and go home. Go! Go to hell. Robbie, baby. Come on, Robbie. Jump for the ball. Jump? Oh, that's good, Robbie. What's the matter, Robbie, baby? You can't jump that high. There are two kinds of terrible, if you really want to know the truth. The first is the regular terrible. That can happen to anyone, any time. Like me breaking my left arm at the beginning of the summer. 
I keep thinking, why did it have to happen to me? But the thing about the first kind of terrible is, well, it has an end. You know it'll be over with one day. Then there's this other kind of terrible. The second kind has no end. And it's so much worse that there hasn't been a word invented for it. Things keep falling more and more into that kind of terrible. Dad? Were you in bed? Almost. I was trying to do all the things Mom would tell me if she was home. Good. I thought I might help bring her home faster. Are you cold? Yes. I just took a shower. Put this on. Come here and sit down for a minute, Robbie. I want to tell you something. Uh, your, your mom hasn't been getting too much better. But she will, won't she? I gave her some treatments so there. They're doing what they can to make her better. Drugs and... What's the matter? <laughs> well, so... Something inside... They don't say much. She want to know how your... Pa how your paper was in Napoleon. Is she going to die? They say she's got a 25% chance. To live? Tell her the paper's fine. on four pages already. What a one to lose. By one lousy point. Cream of the next time. We're going to visit my mom in the hospital tonight. What? What did you say? I'm going to visit my mom in the hospital tonight. Hey, that's great. What's so great about it? They don't allow any, any kids under 14 to visit. Oh. I think they'll let me go. It means my mom's gonna die. Don't be crazy. People's mothers don't just die like that. I never heard of anybody whose mother died. Neither have I. Judge, you got any money? What for? Thought I'd uh, get my mom a present. I only got about 88 cents here. Right. When you go see someone sick in the hospital, you're supposed to bring them a present. Remember the gifts my mom got me when I was in the hospital with my arm? Yeah, that electronic battleship is sure hot. How much you got? Um, 63 cents here. And I got 92, so that makes a dollar 55. Can't buy much of that these days. She'll like it. 
Oh, I gotta go, Rob, to the damn dentist. Just gonna put the braces on today. Good luck. Good luck to you. Your Aunt Emily's coming out tomorrow to stay for a little while. Take care of things until Mom gets home. They're giving your mother sedatives. You know what those are? Huh? They keep everything inside calm. So nothing hurts you. Hi. Roger something. I got six and a half pages done on my Napoleon thing. Outside now, but your mother's real tired, so don't stay with her too long, all right? Okay. Do you like what I brought you?
Uh, your mother had a kind of a stomach ache, so um, we gave her something to help her fall asleep, okay? Uh, your dad would like you to run along home now, okay? I'll get a nurse uh, to call you a taxi, all right? I'm not going home. I'm going to visit my mom again. Yeah, well, it'd be better if you went home now, okay, please, son? Well, I'm not going home. Please, son, will you do what you want? Hey, will you just let go me, damn it? Now, listen, I want to see my mom! Robbie, Robbie, take it easy. Take it easy. Hey, Ma, Mom is sleeping now, okay? Come on, let's go. Come on. Thank you. Come on, let's go. Can I see you tomorrow? You'll see. Dad? Ago, a boy, that's what you were. You're a young man. Yeah. Well, come on, I have to finish unpacking. Oh, and I brought you some cookies all the way from Portland.
Would anyone like something to eat? No, thanks. Well, Robbie, when are you coming to visit us in Portland? I don't know. I better call the office. Let them know where I am. I'll be right back. I talked to your cousin David this morning. He'd love you to come and bring your rockets. He told me to tell you he has a great launch pad. Great. You sure you can stay a little while longer, Aunt Emily? I have to get back to my own family. She wish I had a brother. Or even a sister. My friends sure ain't their brothers. They can be awful. I'm helpful. You know, sometimes when we were growing up, I was feeling terrible, my skin all broken out and my hair stringy, and your father would, although he was pretty much younger than me, he had a knack of saying just the right something at the right time to make me feel better. Like what? And Emily, like what? Come on. Well, at the worst times, he would point out what beautiful legs I had. And they were. You think my dad wanted to have me? Robbie. No, I mean... I mean, after I was born, my mom didn't have any more kids. It always seemed to me that... The dad was the one that didn't want it. Robbie. Look at me. Your mother and father tried for a few years and finally had you. Big deal. And wanted you. Sure, you can't stay just a little while longer? I wish I could. Probably the scariest word ever. It's alone. At least for a kid. Everybody needs somebody. But a kid needs somebody even more. Somebody more than a dad who always was kind of like a stranger. Know what I mean? Robbie? Robbie, it's time to get up, son. I have to go to work now, so have a good day.
Bye, Dad. And don't forget to take out the trash. Today's trash day. Hi, Rob. Good to see you. Hi. How are you? Okay. I haven't seen you at lunch since you've been back. You know, we're still at the same table. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, excuse me. Hi, Dad. Hi. <clears throat> I, um, came downstairs to get a glass of milk. Beef was pretty good cold. I was gonna heat up some gravy, but it's funny, I like it like that. I do too. Did you finish your homework? Yeah. You forgot to take out the garbage this morning. I'm sorry. I give you an allowance, you got these chores to do. If you don't want to do them, I take it out of your pay. No, mm -hmm. I'll do it. That's the way it's done in the world. I said I'm sorry. I won't forget again. Do you want me to heat up some gravy for you? No. No, thank you, Robbie. What the hell do you think you're doing? Fixing to fit on my rocket. Get out of that chair and come with me. When you take a shower around here, you clean up this damn place, see? You pick up your underwear, you pick up this towel, you wipe off the floor. Now do it! Okay, okay. What do I have to tell you this, huh? That's it, Dad. You can just tell me. You don't have to get so tired about it. And don't tell me how to talk. I don't know what your mother taught you. What, what in the hell she thought she was doing? You don't do your chores around here. I'm not giving you any money this week. like living in a house of a total stranger. Who's he telling me what to do? Judd, are you listening to me? Yeah, just having a little trouble with the spastic igniter. Well, just don't listen, please. Talk to me about it. What? About what I'm telling you, damn it! About my dad, who was taking things out on me. What do you think? Well, you know, with your mom and all, he's probably really down. She was my mom. Doesn't he understand that? I think it's all set, Rob. I guess I feel just as terrible as he does. Hey, you kids, move back. Move back. You know, it's funny. Before my mom died, I never saw anything too wrong with my dad. It was like all the other dads. 
Never thought about him too much. And all of a sudden... All my dad ever says is win. Shove him out of the way, whatever, but win. He should talk. Wow! Look at my invader go! Oh, God, it's windy up there. If I lose my invader, I'll kill myself. My mom used to say, even the worst kind of terrible has to have an end. Well, you gotta try and do something to end it. Great. Then she'd say, but nobody can show you how. Come on! Come on. Oh. this way. I did not fail him! Button your left, yeah. the gate. Come on, please! Oh. Marley! Hi, Dad. How you doing? Good. Dad, what do you feel like for dinner? Haven't you eaten yet? No. I waited for you. Anyhow, I wasn't too hungry before. Well, I am. Come on, let's see what we can dig our teeth into. How does a hamburger grab you? I got some hamburger buns yesterday with onions on them. It grabs me. Can I make you a drink? Okay, vodka and tonic. Wait, I'll tell you what. Why don't you have a soda with me? Then we'll go out to eat. We'll have hamburgers tomorrow night. Sure. Uh, Robbie, try the chopsticks. No, 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 not like drumsticks. Here, put them in one. See, put them in one hand like that. This? Right. Oh, try this pork. I feel like bean spots. Whatever. Here, let me let me give you a hand. Take some. Oh, this chicken is my favorite. Here, but. You gotta be real careful with this, Robbie, because it's very spicy. Jesus. <laughs> No, try the pork. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, the chicken's your favorite, and I like it too. Look, Robbie, I wanna. I wanted to tell you something. spending a lot of time outside the house. It's my work. See, my dad taught me that my work was the best way of giving to you and your mother. So, how's school? It's, um, it's, it's fine. Are you working hard? Yeah. I'm working on a paper on energy. Tomorrow's the last game of the season. It's at 3 o'clock. I realize it might not be a good time All right, for I'll you. See, I'll see what I can do. Maybe I can come. Great! It's a Lafayette Junior High School. They're undefeated. How are you guys doing? I'm 
last place. All right, I'll come. Only if you win. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a Shirley MacLaine special on tonight. You want to watch? Sure. Your mother and I used to like to watch her a lot. Look at that, Rob. We've only got a couple minutes to the show. Okay. Hello? Hi, Robbie. How are you? Who's this? Can I guess? No. Elizabeth. Oh, hi. Who's on the phone, right? Someone. Some friend. Oh. Turn on the TV. It's almost time for Shirley MacLaine. Channel, um... Dad? Remember the train station just before Anna Emily left? Well, we were talking, and she said that it's good to talk about things that are sometimes bothering you. Well, there is something that's been sort of bothering me. You want to talk about it, Rob? Yeah. It's about Mom and you. What's been bothering you? Well, the time before Mom went into the hospital and all, I hear you guys arguing almost every night. Remember? And I know you guys loved each other, so... So our arguing bothered you, Robbie? Yeah. I'm sorry it did. It's time for the show. Dad, what were you arguing about, Dad? What's the point of getting into all this now, Rob? I want to, Dad. Well, your mother had been having pains, I guess, for some time before she mentioned them to me. And she had a real thing about doctors. Not for me and you, but for herself. Go on. What's the point of all this, Robbie? Please, Dad. Why did you have to argue? I wanted your, I wanted your mother to have a checkup, and she insisted there was nothing wrong, and she wanted to wait until her regular checkup time. And who won? Nobody did. She went, finally. Finally was too late. What if she went early? What then? She might have been alive then. You could have made her go. I did, finally. I mean it first. Oh, what are, what are you trying to say? That I could have changed what happened? Is that what you're trying to say? You don't understand. I understand. You just didn't care. You didn't give a damn. None of you cared. So what if you hate going to the hospital? So what? If you're a hermit who lives in a, and lives in a cave with no one who loves you, maybe that's all right. But if you go to the trouble to have a kid, then you got to take care of yourself. Isn't that right, Dad? There's nothing anybody could have done. Yeah, you could have made it go sooner. You could have changed things. Are you cut this crap out right now. You know, it's all your damn fault. You know, you really stink. I hate you being my father. <laughs> Robbie, it's time to get up. Open this door, son. I don't know if I'll be able to make it to your game this afternoon. I'll try. My dad's coming today. It's a big deal. I know, but 
them as well. Listen, if you can work up the tax projections for the next quarter, it really help a lot, okay? Yeah, right. All right. I'll be back in a couple of hours. Something came up. Joe, have you got a minute? I really need your advice.
dad must look at these every night before he goes to sleep. Being on his bed and all. Wow. No matter how terrible it was for me, mom dying and all, it's even worse for him. I mean, I got all these things ahead. But dad, he's lost someone to share his whole life. bed where all each other has. We should try to make things better for each other, not worse. I love you, your son, Robbie. P.S. Dad, there's no use putting the past in front of you. Hi, son. How are you doing? Good. What do you got here? Homework? Yeah. The one on Napoleon? Dad, I finished that a month ago. This one's on energy. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I'd like to read it. Okay. I'm very sorry I missed that game today. It's all right. We won. You did? <laughs> yeah. Terrific. Have you eaten yet? No, not yet. How about noodles and clam sauce? OK. I'll make the noodles and you make the salad? Great. I'll be right down. I got to get out of this uniform. Listen, Rob, I got you something today, and I wasn't sure when I was going to give it to you, but I'm going to give it to you now. OK? OK. OK, come on. OK. Come in here. Sit down in this chair, and don't move. OK. All right? I'll be right back.
Thank you for your note. I got the rest of the stuff in the car, the symbols and everything. How'd you know what to get me? Just exactly what to get me. Oh, I found this ad in your mother's drawer. She'd written Christmas across the bottom of it. <laughs> well, now that I spent all this money, I think I deserve a sample of how it sounds, huh? Sure. Yeah, but I can't practice when you're home at all. You being allergic to noise. Noise, maybe. Not music. Yeah. When you don't expect it, things sure go back and forth between terrible and terrific. Like my mom used to say. <laughs>